Okay, I shouldn't be smiling about this topic, but we're talking about adversity. And adversity being all the stuff that can get in your way, the mud that you've got to trudge through to actually get somewhere. Now, we're no strangers to adversity. We're com- we come from a country where, well, things have been pretty tough, frankly. And as a business owner, you're going to have these tough days. You're going to have these really, really hard days. You're going to have days where you look and go, really, must I really do this now? Really? And what you really have to hold on to is training your brain to cope. So in my other little videos, I've talked about things like your mental health, your physical health, being able to make sure that your brain is in the right state to be able to control itself. Because adversity brings up that little voice in your head that says, oi, 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 quit. And you don't want to do that. You want to stick this out because this will pass. It may pass like a kidney stone, but it will pass. So the idea of breathing properly, if you are in a major center and you are able to go for a yoga class and learn how to breathe, do that. 90% of people don't breathe properly. And when they don't breathe properly, they can't get through this tough moment. So what I teach is to bring you and your problem into the moment so that you can allow it to pass. Remember, we're just bags of electrolyte. We have a whole lot of chemicals in us and electrical signals that go from our brain to our body. So every act that we take, every action that we take, when we're in a tough spot, when we're in a rough spot, all of these actions are driven by a chemical soup that tells us how to behave. And if we're not breathing properly, if we're not taking care of our physical selves, we're not going to have the brain function it takes to get us through this moment. So when in doubt, when in a tough spot, breathe. 